Accessory Productions. Thanks so much for checking in. Today I am going to be starting my mod on uh, a sniper rifle for my Borderlands Mordecai cosplay that I made a while back. Uh, I made Bloodwing for that cosplay, but I didn't have a sniper rifle. That's going to change today. So today I am modding the Nerf Long Shot Sniper Rifle. I used a hard grit sandpaper to get off the Nerf symbols here. Sorry, Nerf. Um, but then you can go over with kind of a finer sandpaper grit. Uh, and I like to use these sandpaper blocks that you can find in Michael's, Joanne's. Uh, and they help to get in all the cracks and crevices. But basically, sanding is your first step after you take it apart. This it has been taken apart. Here's all the little screws and stuff. So once you get it down to the pieces that you're going to use, uh, you want to sand it down so that it doesn't have like such a super fine sheen over the majority of it. Uh, you can see kind of that sheen peeking through on the hard to reach areas, which is fine. Um, but you want to make sure that you sand down for the majority of it because you're going to be applying your primer. And today this is what I'm using for my primer. Good old Home Depot. So then you take them all outside and you paint it with the primer. Don't rush paint guys. Don't rush paint. We now have our gun all painted, laid out. This is all with the primer from earlier. Uh, and we have everything all set up to get started painting. Um, you can go to, I went to Hobby Lobby. I got this package of all these different assorted brushes. Um, because the brushes that I have, I didn't want to use for this. So, um, we have those. Paper towel, masking tape to tape off some of the sides and make really straight lines, if I feel like it. <laughs> and then we got all of these different paints. Um, these are super cheap acrylic paints you can pick up from any of those craft stores as well. Um, we also have some water, clean up our brushes. This is the final step. Um, I got a matte sheen to kind of cover and coat everything with when we're done painting. But I'm going to give this gun a nice red color. Um, of course, sticking with a lot of the black accents. This is a Borderlands gun, so it doesn't have to be super uh, perfect. I, in fact, I actually want it to look kind of rugged, uh, so I'll get started. All right, so here is the first layer of paint. For this one, I used this craft paint. It is a rust red color, so kind of that rusting look coming out from under the gun, and then we're going to keep putting some top coats of paint on there to kind of layer it. All right, so here we have the difference. Um, this is before the red paint is added. And then after, you can kind of see the texturing that you can get uh, by stippling, which is the tch -tch 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 -tch. So, <laughs> so we're going to start doing it to this one. And... And do that all over your rust part um, so that it kind of blends it in. You can see how it starts to be one with the gun. We're basically done with the main coat. Now it's more detail work, adding anything like that. Um, for my detail work, mainly it's using a metallic silver. Um, to show metal poking through, you want to do those in all of the like high rise sections uh, using a dry brush, um, dipping a little bit into the paint and then wiping it off on a paper towel. So you just get that real fine, fine touch of metal kind of shining through the paint on different areas you think uh, might wear. So that's the next step. So. You can start to do some metal looking effects by taking silver paint just a teeny bit, coming over, wiping it off, and then any spot that you think might have 
just some wear marks and that gives it a cool kind of metal look effect. Here it is with some metal aging. So getting there. So once I've detailed it with the silver accents to make it kind of look metal, um, you can go in and add a little bit of brown. I know it's kind of hard to see brown or kind of a purple. I have both over here in my color palette. Um, but that will give you a little bit of kind of a mud look, maybe some dirt and grime in some of the creases. Um, like I said, I know it's tough to see in the video, but uh, if you want to give your piece a little added extra detail, there you go. Another uh, option for doing that. So, they look awesome. Here's all the pieces, all painted. I put the matte finish sheen over everything that I mentioned earlier. So now it is drying and then we will put it all together. And ta-da! Here it is! It turned out awesome and it was used in my Mordecai Borderlands cosplay shoot. So check out the picture right here. Here's a close-up of the Nerf long shot repaint, Borderlands style. Don't forget, you guys can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Vestry Productions and Twitter at Vestry underscore cosplay. Also, stay tuned next week when we show you how to make your very own leather deck box.